and these are the family. Words are made of letter people. A, B, C, D, follow me. The letter people. Today, meet Mr. X. detective here. Super sleuth, seeker of truth, and pizza repairman. I've solved some strange cases in my day, such as Poopsie's Big Surprise, but never has there been a case as strange as the case of the mysterious Mr. X. Here's the story. I was sitting at my desk, wondering what my next adventure would be, and working on my sixties, when my good friend, Mr. B, rushed in. Boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy. Mr. B, lower your voice. This is as low as it goes. Something's wrong with the sound of my voice. I could tell there was something wrong with the sound of Mr. B's voice. Something's wrong with my voice. I don't talk like this, do I, Nardo? I was just about to tell Mr. B to forget about trying out for the Vienna Boys Choir when I noticed a strange mark on Mr. B's back. Say, kid, where'd you get that strange doohickey? Boy, oh boy, what strange doohickey? Oh, I got something on my back. What is it, Nardo? Relax, Mr. B. There, I've got it. I guess you won't be needing this. Maybe it stuck to me when I was bouncing my ball in the po... Whoops! Boy, oh boy, I can talk again! Hmm, I wonder what that strange mark is. Boy, oh boy, I took a nap under a tree near the forest. Do you think that now, maybe I... Now, kid, I'm on the phone. It was Mr. H. <laughs> Nardo, come right over. Hysterical ham hocks. Something's wrong. Hubba, hubba. I'll be right over, Mr. H. Hang in there. Mr. B, you stay here and enter the phone. This case is starting to break. But, but... Hmm. Boy, oh boy, sixties. As I entered, I noticed something strange. I didn't want to pry, but I decided to ask anyway. Mr. H., why is that bag over your head? That's easy for you to say. I was hoping he wasn't trying to hide anything. Come on out of there. It was then that I knew that Mr. H. was trying to hide something. Huh. The bag was a pretty good idea, kid. You don't look half bad in it. Put it back on. I was just about to suggest a good hairdresser when... No, wait. Hold still. Got it. You won't have to sell your hot comb, Mr. H. Hey, gee, thanks. What do you suppose made my horrible hair go all wrong like that, Nardo? I knew that it had something to do with those strange marks. This time, Ms. U was on the other end of the wire. Nardo, can you come to my farm right away? Something's wrong. All wrong. Hmm. Something's wrong at Ms. Yu's farm, Mr. H. Try to keep things out of your hair and I'll see you later. Upsy Daisy, am I glad to see you, Nardo? Something's wrong. What's wrong, Ms. Yu? Would you walk this way, please? Nanny here. She was fine this morning, but now something's wrong. All wrong. You don't say. I could tell that something was wrong. All wrong. Someone or something had apparently gotten misused goat. I'm so upset. Can you help, Nardo? What's wrong with this nutty goat? Is it mad? Well, I'm not too happy about it. I was just about to suggest a guest appearance for the goat on the Flintstones when... Look! It's that strange mark again. There. Let's hear what that goat sounds like now. <coughs> Nanny's not all wrong now. She's all right. No kidding, Nardo. Thanks. This phone call was my biggest lead. Uh, say, uh, is this Nardo here? Yes. What can I do for you? Well, uh, I may be able to help you. You, you see, I understand you've been having a, a touch of trouble with these marks. I thought that maybe I could help you by giving you a clue. A clue? 
I could sure use some help. You could, uh, well, so could I. I. I mean, well, here's the clue. You come to the forest and you'll find out why things are going all wrong. The forest? Thanks, mister, uh... I, I didn't catch the name. Oh, you wouldn't want to. I mean, oh, gosh. I hope the clue will help straighten everything out. Uh, goodbye. Wait. Wait. Hung up. Miss Yu, if anyone asks, I'm going to the forest. This case is breaking wide open. Good luck, Nardo. Thanks. I may need it. Gosh, gee, I, I hope Nardo finds me. I really di didn't mean for things to go all wrong. Someone's just got to help me. I'm so tired of being all wrong X. I want things to be all right. Aha! Uh -huh. You're the one who's been making everything all wrong. Oh, dear. Uh, the jig is down. Uh, I mean, up. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, what's your name? Uh, X. Uh, all wrong X. Uh, and I can explain. This ought to be good. Well, you see, I'm all wrong, X. My whole life has been all wrong for me and uh, anyone I try to give one of my letters to. I, and because things go all wrong, I've never had any friends, which makes me very shy. Shy? That why you... Uh, yes, I, I left an X for Mr. B and his voice changed. And then, of course, I left one for Mr. H and his hair went all wrong. And I guess you heard what happened to Ms. U's goat. Yes, but they're all okay now. Don't worry, kid. Oh, that's good. I, I don't suppose you'd like to see my letters. Sure. Oh, good. Well, well, here we have a capital X and right here a lowercase X. Now, both of these here are the same letter. The same letter as my name, X. It was then that I realized where I had seen that letter before. Back in my school days. When I got a wrong answer, my teacher would mark it with an X. The letter X. I've seen quite a few of those in my time, Mr. X. They sure bring back memories. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, don't touch them. You see what happens, Nardo? Put them away, Mr. X. That was a close call. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe you'd better get away from me before something else goes wrong. No. Mr. X, Nardo the detective is on your side. I'm going to take you to the letter people. They'll figure out a way to use your letter in a word. Then you won't be all wrong, Mr. X. Things will brighten up. You'll see. Well, gosh, I don't know. Well, well maybe. Come on, kid. You have nothing to fear. Okay, Nardo. I'll sure try my best. Mr. K, Mr. S, the case of the strange mark is solved. This is Mr. X, who wants to live with us here in Letter People Land. Hi, Hi Mr. X. X. Welcome. Welcome. Super, a new letter person. What's your sound, Mr. X? Oh, gosh. Gee, I have to tell you, I don't have a sound of my own, so I guess I don't belong here. Oh, goodbye. Don't worry about that, Mr. X. We've already solved the problem. Ms. A heard about your coming here, and she thought of a way that both of us can help. Oh, gosh, it's wonderful. What can I do to help? You and I will stand together, Mr. K, sharing our sounds. The sound that we share together will give Mr. X a squish sound of his own. That's kicky. I'd love to help. You see, kid, there's nothing to worry about. But just to be on the safe side, Mr. X, your sound, the same sound that K and S make together, better go at the end of words, not at the beginning. That's just so people won't think the word is wrong. I think you're right, Nardo. What do you say, Mr. X? Sometimes we all stand at the end of words. Uh, gee, it's thrilling just to be in any part of a word. I'd love to stand at the end of a word. It's settled then. Mr. X, can you tell me what you see in that picture on the fence? Oh, uh, that's the number six. Yes, yeah, six has my letter at the end. So far, nothing's gone wrong. Right. Mr. X, I knew you could do it. Super! And what about this next picture, Mr. X? Uh, uh, that's a box. A uh, box is my letter at the end, too. Right again, Mr. X. See, you do belong here and let a people land. I'm glad for you, kid. I told you there was nothing to worry about. I, I know you did. I'm, I'm very happy that you all think so, but I'm still a little worried. I know what will convince you, Mr. X. 
We'll play the catching game. Oh, the catching game? Uh, uh, gee, I don't know here. Don't run away now, kid. Believe in yourself. You can do it. If you can be in a word that's all right, then you can't be all wrong. Look at the last picture on the fence. Yeah, it's a tough one here. Uh, uh, a parakeet. That was my first guess, too. But no, you got to look closer. Let's see here. I, I know, it's, it's a worm in a raccoon coat. Close. Closer. Try again. What else wears a furry coat? Well, it's, I got a cousin in Alaska who's an Eskimo. I, uh, I, it's a fox. Right. Now, whom will you call to get into the starting clue box? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'd better sound it out. Uh, fox. Fox. The starting sound I hear is the same that starts funny feet. Uh, would Mr. F please get into the starting clue box? You're good, kid. Whom will you call to get into the catching clue box? Well, I'd better be careful. I really want to be right. Uh, fox. Fox. The catching sound I hear is the same sound that starts obstinate. Would Miss O please get into the catching clue box? Yeah, good. Yeah, very good, kid. Now for the ending sound. Yeah, let's see here. Fox. Fox. That's my sound. The end sound is an X. Would my good friends Mr. K and Mr. S please get into the ending? Not us, Mr. X. Even though we share our sounds with you, you have the honor of standing in the ending clue box. Oh, golly, I get to, really? Go ahead, kid. Enjoy it. And while you're at it, hold up a badge of cooperation so everyone will know that Miss O will make her short sound. And now, letter people, make your sounds catch. Fox. Fox. Well, all right. Mr. X, you're not all wrong anymore. Oh, goody. Uh, just one more thing. Nardo, would you touch my letter and, and see if anything goes wrong? Sure, kid. There's nothing to be afraid of now. Oh, gee, that feels good. I can have friends. Welcome, Welcome to, to Letter People Land. <laughs> it's the place where you belong, Mr. X. Oh, gee, thank you. And to return your kindness... I'm going to use my letter as a warning sign to help keep people away from dangerous things like railroad crossings and harmful bottles and cans and, and on anything that should be kept away from children. Hooray! <laughs> You're all right, Mr. Rex. Oh, you sure are. It's nice to have you here. And so ended my strangest case, Mysterious Mr. X. One part of the case is still unsolved. I still don't know who tipped me off at the phone call at Ms. Yu's farm. Someday, maybe I'll find out. At least Mr. X is happy now. There are 119 stories to be told in Letter People Land. This has been one of them. Follow me.